Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up printer sharing on your Airport Express or Airport Extreme. They both use the same setup, so I'm obviously only going to show you the one setup. So first you're going to go into Airport Utility, um, and I just did a spotlight search, and it bring, bring it straight up. Um, so now it's showing me which one's connected to my computer, the airport extremes connected. So then you're going to go to manual setup. Obviously if you had m multiple you'd choose the one that the printer was actually plugged into. Then you're going to go over to printers and then here it shows you the printer that's um, connected to the um, connected to the network um, Airport Express or Airport Extreme um, so here it shows you the printers that are connected to the Airport Ex Express or Airport Extreme um, if you noticed how I said the printers plural it's because if you plug in a USB splitter you can have multiple printers um, plugged in so yeah I just wanted to clear that up um so after you've selected that you're just gonna hit share printers over the internet using Bonjour and uh, and basically um then you're gonna just hit update and it'll start sharing the printer and then after you've done that you're gonna go into system preferences and you're going to choose printers or print and fax and then these are all different ones um, obviously you guys wouldn't have that list of ones but you would have these so now it's finding it and it found both of these and that is because of my printer already has a wireless card thing built into it so I believe the one that would show up for you if you wait one second it would be the one without the number it would be the one without the number that's the yeah oh, oh, wow well, that's a fail on my behalf it also tells you the location right there it's plugged into the Airport Express base station versus it's just wirelessly connected and then also you 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 can select the driver that you want to use um I will actually say that if you're having trouble fitting all of your um if you're not getting the last line of text um, when you print and you used to try changing out the driver because I did notice and I don't think it's Apple's fault but I did notice that when I tried printing my office to my the office jet it didn't um, print the bottom line but that that wasn't through airport that's just a separate tip um, and then all you would have to do to change that is go into the um, options yeah and then you'd select the driver um, so instead of that one if you chose other you could locate it or you can just go straight into the printer software it's gonna find all these HP and now I'm just gonna use the PhotoSmart right now the one that's already connected to my um, network as such and is actually working so I know this all, all works is it the 740? Oh, sorry about that forgot what the number was so this is just like a little tip for you there we go um, if you are actually having trouble fitting all this stuff onto it it will change the picture but the name stays the same and also I do believe you can change the name 
apparently I'm wrong on that one, but you can when you're first setting it up. So that's basically how you do it. You just choose the one you want. This is going through the thing. You'd hit add, and then it configures it all. And boom, there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tech tip, and please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment. And feel free to leave any questions in the comment section. I'll make sure to get back to you. And have an awesome weekend. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.